This is a patient that had failed standard macular hole surgery and an internal limb membrane flap surgery. And so we're left with very few options outside of a uh, retinal uh, transplant, an autologous retinal transplant. Um, we can see here I'm creating a bleb of subretinal fluid utilizing a 39 gauge subretinal cannula on uh, the VFC foot pedal control. I then diathermize just the two vessels leading into this area to try and create some hemostasis and control any bleeding. I then utilize the Alcon curved scissors to create about an 80% circumferential cut of a nice macular graft. Uh, here we can see I've stained the ILM so that I keep my orientation with my ILM anteriorly. So we're able to utilize a bimanual technique to help just retract back this retina so that I can actually get under and trim it to the point at which we've got about two clock hours of attached retina to hold it in place. You don't want to trim it completely at this point or the fluidics of the eye will cause this retina to kind of fly off and you'll lose your transplant. I've elevated my uh, pressure in the eye to control that little bit of bleeding. And once we have this flap almost completely cut, we now place PFO, not just over the macula, but we utilize the PFO over the transplant site. And this is important because it helps you to control the retinal transplant. And we wanna keep that transplant oriented so that the anterior side uh, or the inner retina stays um, on the inner part because we're simply gonna just utilize this uh, retina and we're gonna drag it over and place it over our macular hole. So now I'm completing the dissection of the retinal transplant with my force or with my scissors and I'm utilizing my in-grasping forceps to just pull this transplant under the PFO over to the macular area and it's just very carefully and controlled pulled over. I'm utilizing a chandelier and, um, and also my light pipe. And you can see it just covers that macular hole nicely with a little rim of uh, about 100 microns or so on each side. I then laser demarcate the harvest site here and do a, leave the PFO in for several days before going back and removing the PFO and the patient has done fairly well with modest recovery of vision.